And Nohe Lani, you're just confirming a lot on this latest chase. It started outside of Kyrene Del Cielo Elementary in Chandler. Yes, Katie, a mom was there to pick up her son, leaves the car running, and this guy seizes an opportunity. He takes the car. It ends here, where he ends up ramming a police car, pushing it into this trash bin. All the while, dozens of parents are pulling into the parking lot and watch it go down. Families showing up to enjoy a night under the lights of Future City Park, instead pulling up to see the flashing lights of cop cars. It wasn't good. There was helicopter up on top, you know, circling. Chandler police call it a crime of opportunity. A man carjacked this Range Rover, left running just blocks away at Kyrene Del Cilio Elementary. The suspect, in his 40s, eventually leads the officer into a restaurant parking lot near 56th and Ray and rams the squad car. He takes off again, this time ending up at the ballpark, when he slams into the cop car again. Waiting to hear the crack of baseball bats. She heard the crash. Dina Schaefer says her friend heard the crunch of metal instead and took cover. She heard, put your hands up. And so they, she grabbed her two kids and went behind the block fence right here. I was scared. I mean, I had my kids in the car and I didn't know if I should turn around. But watching an arrest, not even the scariest part. It's when they hear how it started. The witness to the car theft, a 12 year old girl in the back seat, smart enough to jump out at the sight of a stranger before he could even hit the gas. We kind of rehearse those types of situations. So. But, you know, that's not a good thing to leave your car running with the kids in the car. The little girl was not hurt. We want to point that out. The officer was not hurt either. In fact, he's a pursuit instructor for Chandler Police. The suspect wasn't hurt, but he now faces a long list of charges. Aggravated assault for hitting the cop car, carjacking. The DA could choose to go after kidnapping charges. Also, police tell me they're pretty sure he was drinking. But I got to tell you, Stephen Katie, the big talker here at the ball fields today was the lesson for parents. Never leave the car running. Never leave the kids in the car, not even for a second. Your mind just races at all of the possibilities of what might have happened with all those kids around. Thank you, Noelani.